Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we are at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, California. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Joanna Chikwi, who is the Chair of Cardiac Surgery. Dr. Chikwi, it is great to see you again and thanks for being with me today. Great to see you again, Adam. Yeah, so we've been getting a lot of patient questions at HeartValveSurgery.com all about heart failure. And can you help me learn and all the patients in our community understand what is heart failure? So heart failure is simply put, when the heart just doesn't pump well enough to deliver enough blood to the body for the body to do what it needs to do. And if you have to think about why can people get heart failure, sometimes it's because their valves don't work. Sometimes it's because the coronary arteries aren't supplying that muscle with enough energy to do its work. And sometimes there are just problems inside the muscle. Dr. Chikwi, are there symptoms that a patient may experience if he or she has heart failure? Yeah, absolutely. So heart failure can happen suddenly or it can happen really gradually. And when it happens gradually, sometimes people don't even notice or they start to feel very fatigued. And the classic symptom that we ask everybody about is breathing problems. They feel breathless. You might feel breathless when you're doing something completely low energy, like just walking around your house. And so if I'm a patient, how would I know that I have heart failure? So obviously there are a lot of things that could make you feel breathless or fatigued. So the first stop is going to be to one of your physicians, maybe your primary care doctor or your cardiologist. And they're going to ask you about your history. They'll do a physical exam and then they'll start thinking about tests that could help them evaluate your heart. And one of those is probably going to be an echo. That lets us look at your heart function in a lot more detail. Dr. Chikwi, let's dive a little deeper for the patients in our community who have heart valve disease. Is it common that they have heart failure? The patients that I see as a surgeon, it's uncommon. Usually those patients are being sent to me to help them avoid a risk of heart failure. So that's pretty unusual. Whereas we obviously have a specialist team of heart failure cardiologists and they see a lot of heart failure. And if I am one of those patients that has heart valve disease and heart failure, are there therapies and treatments out there to help manage both diseases? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the most important things we do as surgeons is operate on people early to prevent heart failure. We're trying to preserve the heart function by fixing the underlying problem, which may be valve disease. And Maybe about a fifth, a quarter of patients that we see are already in heart failure, so then we're operating to stop that getting worse. And I'm curious to know, for the patients, are there specific therapies, is a repair more common or a replacement more common for those patients with valve disease and heart failure? Sure, great question. So let's work through the different valves because it's different for each valve. So for the mitral valve, if it leaks, a repair is generally the gold standard. Um, particularly if the valve is a floppy valve or a prolapsing valve. The aortic valve, it's different again. Generally, we're replacing that valve if it's too tight. If the valve leaks, sometimes we can repair that. We've talked about the left-sided heart valves, and we always used to just gloss over the right-sided heart valves, but we've certainly become much more aware of how important they are. And the tricuspid valve, that can be a big driver of heart failure, particularly on the right side of the heart, and it can also leak because of heart failure on the left side of the heart. And that valve's repairable. Great, well, Dr. Chikwi, last question for the patients in our community. What should they do if they hear these words, heart failure, heart valve disease? What's your advice to them? So first of all, don't panic. Those sound like really big, ugly, scary words. There is amazing medical therapy now that is really helping people get out of heart failure, one. And two, if you've got severe valve disease, there's almost always an option to treat that to help your heart work as efficiently as it can for as long as it can. Great, well, thank you so much for being with me today and sharing all this great information with our community. And Dr. Chikwi, on behalf of all the patients, thanks so much for you and your entire team here at Cedar sinai Thank you, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.